let's update our door switches. I've got the original version one door switches and they are A, super confusing to use and B, really quite fragile. Turns out Tesla has updated these switches over the years and there have been a version one, version two, and finally a version three. The installation itself is actually very straightforward. You can pick these switches up from your service center don't waste your money on eBay and spend $50, $60 a switch. They cost $11 each. I'm gonna jump back and forth between the left and the right side of the car, but the procedure is the same on either side. It's just because I had some better angles while I was filming. Start by pulling away the weather trim. You will need to do this to gain access to the B pillar. It should just pull right off. Slide your seat forward if it already isn't there. The B pillar trim has a top and bottom cover. Start by popping the bottom cover away from the frame. You don't want to start with the top piece because it's bolted into the frame itself. Once you've popped the lower B pillar trim away from the frame, you'll expose the two Torx bolts that need to be removed before you can remove the upper trim piece. Once you remove the bolts, the upper trim should just pull away from the frame. Quick shout out to KC Tool. Thanks for hooking us up with a discount on shop tools. Consider taking the money you've saved on this DIY maintenance and picking up some quality German tools from these guys. Once you've freed the trim, you'll need to disconnect two electrical connectors. I've skipped ahead to give you a better view of where these connectors are. There is one at the top and one at the bottom of the trim piece. Remove the three screws that hold the door switch in place. Push the door switch from the front to unseat it from the trim. Insert and seat your new door switch. Reinstall the hardware you have previously removed. Reconnect both electrical connectors and snap the trim back into place.
now would probably be a good time to test the switch to make sure it actually works before you reinstall everything else. Reinstall the hardware that holds the upper trim panel in place, and then snap the lower trim piece back in place. Replace your weather stripping, and give yourself a pat on the back. During this process, you may have lost a few metal clips. Don't worry about it. You can pick them up from the service center if you desire. Not all of them are required. However, as always, I will include part numbers and timestamps below. Leave me a comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see.